okay now let's start with the animation part of the website and you can just open a new tab in your browser and type animate dot css and hit enter and you can see the first result that animate dot css and click on it now you can see all the different types of animation that we can add in our project and I'm going to show you some of these and I will show you which one of these uh, we are using in our website but uh, you can select any one of these which whichever you like whichever you find a uh, better it's just about your personal choice you can see different animation and how they are working we are going to use this one fade in left and this fade in up There are so many of these you can uh, take your time and go through them one by one and see which you like the most and uh, use them in your website it's not like you have to use the same one which I am using you can just uh, experiment with it uh, go with a different one that's just totally up to you so now let's get back to the code okay now let's start with the text name that is the website name which is in the jumbotron let's get to the h1 tag and add class and write wow w o w space fade in left you can see in the fade in left the i is capital and the l is capital and the rest of the characters are in small letter then space data hyphen wow hyphen delay this attribute adds delay to the animation let's add 0 0.6 seconds and then you can copy this entire line copy it the class and the data hyphen wow hyphen delay attribute both of these and then you can paste them in the p attribute and then change the fade in left to fade in right and observe that the r is capital in this case and save it now let's see in the website and you can see the animation now now let's add the animation to that about section we want this text of this about section to uh, fade in from left so get in this div tag with class call hyphen sm hyphen 8 and write space wow space fade in left then add another attribute data hyphen wow hyphen delay write 0.6 seconds so this will add animation to this entire div element then get down and write in this second div tag with class call hyphen sm hyphen 4 add space wow space fade in right then add one more attribute data hyphen wow hyphen delay as 0.6 second save this and refresh the page and you can see the animation now we have to do the same with this our values section okay get in the div tag with the class call hyphen sm hyphen 4 and add wow space fade in left then add one more attribute data hyphen wow hyphen delay and one more thing if you want to add some other animation that you like then all you have to do is see the name of the animation from that website which i have shown you then in place of this fade in left you write the name of the animation that you want then let's get in the div tag with class call hyphen sm hyphen 8 and add wow space fade in right 
then add the second attribute that is the data hyphen wow hyphen delay as 0.6 seconds and you can save this and you can now see the animation now in this services section we want the text to fade in from bottom let's get in this main div tag with which contain the entire services section and after text hyphen center you can add wow space fade in up then add the second attribute that is the data hyphen wow hyphen delay as 0.6 observe that when we do this the animation will be added to this entire services section and not to just one row but to this entire section so both of these rows will get the animation but we don't want this to happen we want uh, both of these rows to get uh, animation individually so that they fade in from bottom one by one and not together so let me just cut it from here then paste it in the div tag of the first row that is the main div tag of the row or the div tag which contains the class row and add it to here and then add the second attribute here fine then in the second row we can do the same write wow space fade in up then add the second attribute okay now let's animate this panel first let's animate this pricing panels first and we want these panels to come from bottom that is fade in from up or fade in up so get in the div tag with class row and write wow space fade in up then add the second attribute that is the data hyphen wow hyphen delay as 0.6 seconds this will add the animation to the entire row you can see in the website now we need to add animation to these members panels and we want these panels to come one by one instead of all together so what we are going to do is we are going to add animation to these panels separately and give them uh, different timings so that they come one after the other and not together okay then under the first panel look for the second div tag with class panel and add wow space fade in left then add the second attribute that is the data hyphen wow hyphen delay as 0.6 seconds this will add the animation to the first panel then let's animate the second panel now get below the second panel comment and get inside that second div tag with class panel and add wow space fade in left then add the second attribute that is the data hyphen wow hyphen delay and let's write the same delay 0.6 then write the same thing with the third panel get in the second div tag and add the name of the class then add the attribute you can copy this then do the same with the fourth panel get in the second div tag with class panel and add the name of the class then add the attribute save it and let's see you can see that all the panels are coming together but we want them to uh, slide in one by one so let's do that so we are going to do that by uh, changing the delays of these animations or changing the delays of the panels so that the first one comes the first then the second panel comes a little bit late then the third panel comes later than the first and the second and similarly the fourth panel comes after all the panels have come let the delay of the first panel be 0.6 seconds then change the second one to 1 then 
change the delay of the third panel to 1.4 seconds then change the delay of the fourth panel to 1.8 so you can observe that we have increased the delays by 0.4 seconds you can now save this and see in the browser and you can see that we have the desired effect now now we have to do the same with this customer images so we are going to do the same here also get under the comment first row of logos and in the div tag with class call hyphen sm hyphen 3 add the name of the class that is wow space fade in left then copy it and paste it in all of the div tags just the way i am doing it then add the second attribute that is the data hyphen wow hyphen delay 0 0.6 seconds and copy this and you can paste it in all of the div elements and change the delays accordingly that is 0 0.6 then 1 then 1.4 seconds Then 1.8. Now we can do the same with the second row of logos as well. Copy the name of the class and paste it in all of the div elements. Then copy the name of the attribute and paste it with all of the div elements in the second row and uh, change the delays first one to be 0 0.6 second one to be 1 third to be 1.4 and last one to be 1.8 and save it now let's see in the website and we have the desired so basically this completes all of the parts that is the HTML part and the CSS part and the animation part so the website is ready so this completes our entire tutorial and if you want to see the gallery page that I have created already I can just show you you can see that it is a filterable gallery page we have these filters click on any one of them and only the images which are related to it are displayed then click on all and all of the images are displayed again so if you want to create this gallery page I'm going to put the link in the description below and the link is also on the screen right now you can click on it and get the tutorial and build this website or build this gallery page for yourself so this is all for today i will see you in the next video thanks for watching